Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Lithobreak Exploration Technologies, which is being made by forum user Necrobones, and I just could not pass up this mod when I saw it on the forums because, well, it's made by Necrobones, and we've looked at a couple of his mods in the past, and quite frankly, I've yet to be disappointed, and this particular mod is no exception to that rule and well what this particular parts pack is looking to add into the game is a lovely new selection of parts with a major emphasis on surface exploration particularly on building large landers and that is just glorious so let's just jump right on into the VAB and take a look at all the parts that it does add in now first and foremost let's grab a command pod as we always do for size comparison and well then grab another command pod, as this mod does add in two new ones into the game, the first of which being this Lithobreak 4K command pod, which is ginormous. Oh, I love it. It is your standard 2.5 meter size, so uh, of course comparable to the regular Mark 1-2 command pod, but it's a lot taller and it also features a crew capacity of four Kerbals rather than the three in the Mark 1-2. So it's quite a large, very, very interesting command pod that I quite enjoy. Other than that, well, other than its additional crew, it's a pretty standard, you know, you got your reaction wheel, the typical crew report, electric charge, and monitor propellant. The main uh, bonus to this is that extra personnel, which is just handy to have, so you can take a couple more Kerbals over to Duna, and who wouldn't like that? Now, as for the models and textures on it, I quite enjoy it. It is a Necrobones mod, after all, so they're on a pretty decent state. Now, one issue at the moment with this, as well as with the other command pod that this mod adds in, is that there's there's no custom IVA for the time being. They're just using a uh, placeholder IVA, but that should hopefully come in time. Hopefully not too long, because I would love to see what the interior of this and the next command pod looks like. They are uh, quite nice looking from the outside. I'd love to see the interior, but for now, sadly, it's just sort of a uh, default placeholder. But yes, that is the Lithobreak 4K command pod, and the second one that gets added in is the Lithobreak X3, which is essentially just a supersized version of the Mark I lander can, but, uh, you know, made bigger, as I mentioned with the whole supersized bit there. But yes, it is just a large octagonal lander can, and this one, though, unlike the smaller version, can actually hold three crew personnel, and uh, pretty much has the same sort of look to it, same sort of feel, so it is always nice to be fairly stock. And yeah, it's just kind of like if you took a lander can and stretched it out, but still, I like it. Hopefully, once it has its IVA, it uh, takes advantage of all the interior space. That would be quite nice, but uh, yes, unlike the Lithobreak 4K, this one does not have any monopropellant in it. Uh, it does, of course, have the electrical charge, crew report, reaction wheel, etc., and holds three crew members, as you can see here. Lovely, very good. Now on to the next parts. Now, after these command pods, the next tab we're gonna be in is utility, and that is where everything else in this mod is at the moment. And my god, they're wonderful parts. Now we have a large selection of ladders, parachutes, and service bays that are all quite interesting and cool. And again, like I said earlier, uh, this mod has a heavy focus on making large landers. I mean, that's one of the reasons you have this ginormous lander can. And of course, with large landers means they're probably going to be pretty tall. So the first few parts here are a beautiful selection of ladders, uh, ranging from the 5 meter extendable ladder, which is, oh boy, look at that. That is, that is a tall ladder, to a 8 meter deployable ladder. Let's extend that one. Boom. That is just... That is just a big ladder. That is, that is a very, very big ladder. And very useful if you, well, need to get your Kerbals out of a very tall lander. And then after the two extendable ones, or deployable rather, rather, we have just the regular mobility enhancers that come in different size varieties as well. So we've got that smaller one, a medium one, and then a long one. And uh, interesting that the long one has a different color. I mean, the first two are white in color and the third is gray, which is unusual, but okay. I mean, 
style wise it's not that big of a deal you could always just use the white ones if you want to use that or just uh, if you want to be pragmatic about things and just use the one long one that is up to you but it is nice having the different sized uh, versions of the mobility enhancers because I have to admit oh my god it's just so annoying to just continuously click these things as you go along trying to build a uh, any sort of lander or well any sort of mobility thing you add these onto space stations all the time so it's very cool having larger versions of them so you don't have to uh, spend quite so much time attaching all these tiny little ladders to your ships the next parts we have are large-scale parachutes because again focus on large landers so a large lander is going to need a much larger parachute than your typical ones so we have the 1x24 radial parachute and look at the freaking size of that one the typical radial chutes are about yay big in size this one's this freaking massive it's it's huge and it's wonderful. And then after the radial parachutes, we have two different uh, top attached parachutes. This one being, you know, a bit smaller and uh, I guess hmm, stout, you might say, perhaps. And then the other one being short and stumpy. Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. That is just huge absolutely huge but I love it cuz well it's just a gigantic parachute and who wouldn't love one of those but I must admit my personal favorites on this one are the radial parachutes just because well I love radial parachutes they are my favorite types to use and it's just convenient having larger ones for say perhaps dropping an entire uh, colony on Duna in one shot who knows could work <laughs> or end horribly for your Kerbals, one of the two. Uh, the next things that we have here are several different service bays. The first is a 2.5 meter expanded service bay. So much larger than our typical one, we can open it up there and it's actually not quite attached. There we go. So you just have a much larger service bay to use with uh, your different experiments or perhaps you could put a satellite in there or a rover, might be quite interesting. Though on the note of rovers, Perhaps you wouldn't want to put them in there, and you actually want a rover bay. Now, technically, these still are service bays, but the next two service bays are actually designed to be rover bays, essentially. So we'll look at the small one first. It is still 2.5 meters in size, but it does have a little bit on the outside, so it kind of goes spills over a little bit from the usual 2.5 meters. And, uh, yeah, it is, well, if we open it up here, a convenient little rover bay and it does have lights you can turn on so you can uh, get your Kerbal inside attach or get them into a rover and then detach it and as you can see if we click it off here real quick look at all of those attachment points we have one at the back so that you can hook a separator on there and build your rover inside but what I really like about these is those four attachment points at the bottom of this as you'll notice on the bottom We've got several rings here. You can either go for, say, if you have this as the bottom of your lander, you can use this for different engines. So you could either have the big engine on the center one, or you could perhaps go with uh, four of the smaller engines on these. And it fits just the same, and I do like how it has the detail of the extra circles. So you can uh, make your choice there. I personally like having four of the small engines. I don't know why, personal preference. But yes, it's quite cool having those attachment points down there. Very nice and convenient. Now back down to utility. After the small bay, we have the large bay. Now technically it's still a 2.5 meter bay. But this one's got a lot of spillover. I mean, just look at that. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> that's not aerodynamic in the slightest. But yes, we can open this one up too. I do like the animation of the uh, doors opening there. Uh, very nice indeed. And yeah, it's just a larger version of uh, this one up here. And as you may notice, uh, both of them have liquid fuel and oxidizer in these lovely tanks on the sides. Very cool indeed. And yeah, very, very useful thing. I can see myself making all sorts of rovers with this. Now, one thing I wish this mod had at the moment that it doesn't is ramps. Right now, if you uh, build a rover in here, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna have to fall a little bit to the ground. Unless, of course, you just land this whole bit directly on the surface. You're gonna have to do a little jump. 
which, you know, may not be too difficult, but for me, I'd probably break something. And then, yes, let's move on to the last two parts here, is lander legs. Now, we've got a pretty decent selection of lander legs in stock, but again, if you're making larger landers, you may want better legs than what the stock offers. So the first one we have here is the LL4M Lithobreak Landing Legs, which are, well, ginormous. Look at that. And this is the largest we currently have, and just look at the size difference between those two. It's uh, kinda laughable. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to double check that that was the largest one, but yes, yes, the size difference is quite laughable indeed. And a fun feature of these landing legs is you can see right here, this little rectangle, that is a landing light. Can we turn it on in here? We can, there we go, beautiful. Which is quite convenient when you do actually try to land on a surface, because say if we do have this on all fours, there we go, you have those lovely lights to help guide you in to your landing. It's quite nice and convenient having those there, so you don't have to make your own spotlights on the side. Very cool indeed, um, which is you know not too different. I believe that these landing gears have a light on them as well. I'm gonna check that real quick so I'm not talking out of my butt here, but yes, yes, there we go. Those do have lights on indeed. So it's cool to have them on the landing legs as well. Now, these are the smaller of the two landing legs here. The next one is the LL7M, which is even bigger. Look at the size of these freaking things. Let's actually extend both of them. There we go, retracted and retracted. Just look at that, just just look at that which you may be wondering why would you even need landing legs this big well what if you want to land an entire orange fuel tank on the surface of a planet now you can you can make just a gigantic oversized lander and these legs will support them oh boy will they support them they are just gorgeous I love these landing legs to death so that is actually all the parts that this offers at the moment hopefully more get added in in the future and again the uh IVAs on these capsules, I can't wait to see. But I have actually put a lander onto Duna to sort of show off what one of these large landers might look like. Now, mine definitely isn't the largest that you could possibly make, but it's uh, good enough to sort of show off things. And, of course, I did cheat to get it here. Good old hyper edit. But, yes, this is just a, a small demonstration of what you could potentially have. Uh, now, we do have the large ladder here, so even though we are quite high up because of these huge landing legs we do have plenty of room thanks to the very very long deployable ladder we've got the nice big uh, x3 lander can the large parachutes that could get us safely down to the surface and as i mentioned before the uh, fun possibility of having the four small engines rather than the one large one i, I again i don't know why i just prefer that for my landers uh, but yes, very, very cool indeed. I I really do like this mod. And again, uh, it's you know it's a neck it's a necro bones mod, and I have yet to be disappointed. And so far with this mod, I I'm in love with it. I love these parts that you have for building larger landers. I can just imagine some of the things that would be possible with this. Like imagine with the uh, civilian colonization, or oh god, I've, I'm forgetting the name of the mod now, the civilian population mod with those big biodomes and everything. Now that does have its own lander legs, but you could build your own versions with different one of these lander legs to make, you know, just drop down a whole biodome system onto Duna. It would be quite cool. Or like I said, you know, you could strap a couple of the large orange fuel tanks on here to bring fuel down to your planetary bases. All quite cool, quite convenient. I also love the service bay that we have here. I need to actually turn the UI back on so I can open it. And of course, turn all of our gorgeous lights on here. There we go, beautifully lit up. And again, like I said, uh, it would be cool to have landing ramps that I could extend from here. Because yeah, right now I'd have to like uh, drop my lander legs so we got down as far as we could to the surface before driving a rover out of this thing. But you know what? I mean, that's not too bad of a thing to do. Maybe I'd probably still screw it up somehow. But yes, this is a cool mod. And well, if you would like to try it out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And I would love to see what sort of landers you guys make with this stuff. So uh, tweet me a picture of it if you would be as so kind. I would be 
quite intrigued to see what sort of large-scale landers you guys could make with it. And yeah, I hope you do enjoy this mod, and of course that you have enjoyed this particular episode, and that you come back for the next when we will be looking at what hopefully will prove to be yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now let's actually try to take this thing off. Oh, I extended the parachutes. Look at how gigantic they are. They're gorgeous. So gorgeous. Later, folks.